Hi, everybody. Welcome to Stamping with Melva. I'm Melva Peters, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in British Columbia, Canada. And you can find me online at stampingwithmelva.com. It's Sunday today. It's March 24th. It's actually a lovely day here. It was sunnier earlier than it is now. Um, and I'm here to make a card. Um, I'm going to do an Easter card. Uh, well, yeah, Easter card, but it's going to have a thinking of you sentiment on it. But uh, I can't believe how close Easter is. Having been away for a couple of weeks in there, it's just felt like March has gone by and I've missed out on it. So uh, anyway, Easter's coming up and so it's time to make uh, an Easter card. All right, I'm going to switch over and we'll get started. All right, so this is the excellent eggs bundle that is in the mini catalog. It's just fun. I'm going to use this thinking of you sentiment, but I'm really going to use the dies that go along with this. So there are three different sizes of eggs um, that you can cut out. They are stitched, which is really cool. Um, and then there are some more I have. So there are some um, other dies that you can create um, pieces to decorate your egg. And I've cut a bunch out. This is the chevron shape, which I really love. Um, and so I have cut a bunch of these chevron shapes use my using um, petal pink and crumb cake which I'm going to decorate my egg with so the die cuts I'm just trying to get my hands the die cuts this little chevron shape out hey Mary welcome I'm not sure who else that is that said good afternoon coming in through Facebook but welcome um, so I've cut some of these pieces out already what else is in this oh there is this cute little egg that is all um, embossed um, for you with some stitching and then this cute little bunny that you can cut out and color and I may actually stamp the bunny we'll see all right so that's what I'm using as I said I've already gone ahead and done some cutting so I've cut the, the largest egg out hey Nancy hey Amanda <laughs> um, I cut my egg out this is the largest egg and you can see that great stitching on the edges of these eggs then I have um, a piece of petal pink cardstock that is a half a sheet cut lengthways so um, four and a quarter by 11 uh, imperial and we're just going to score it in half at five and a half so we'll fold as always fold into the mountain or the raised line and give it a good burnish with your bone folder and then I have a piece and I have gone ahead and embossed this with the timber embossing folder. And I'm just going to grab a blending brush. So this piece, oh, yeah. so this piece is actually cut three and three quarters by five. So it's gonna be a little bit um, smaller than normal. Normally um, I only I cut it four inches by five and a quarter but I thought I wanted more. Um, Gabriella, I wanted more of the um, petal pink showing. So I've got some crumb cake here and I've got my blending brush and so by using a blending brush with some ink um, so I keep my lid open and I just tap on there. Um, you can apply a little bit more color and you could use a different color than I'm, I'm just using the same, the same color as my cardstock. Uh, but even with that, you can see how it just kind of adds a little bit of color to it and makes the, the embossing pop a little bit more. You don't have to do the whole thing but I will just kind of go over it all right so added a little bit of color um, gosh it looks a lot darker on the camera than it actually looks in person but that's okay all right so we're going to adhere that on I'm just going to use when I do um, embossing folders and adhere them on um, I, just, I like to use liquid glue because it gets into all of the nooks and crannies and my liquid glues decided to um, not want to open. So let's try and see if I got a clog. 
I always joke with my friend Betty, who often joins us because I hear Betty saying, put, put your lid on your glue, which I'm trying to get better at. <laughs> but that's often what causes my problems with my glue is I don't put the lid back on right away and then it gets a little bit of a clog in there. So by using liquid glue, um, you can get the, the glue into the nooks and crannies of the embossed, um, the embossed images or the embossed um, sections. All right, so then I've got, I've got my egg. And like I said, I have cut a whole bunch of these. I really like the look of the, the chevron. So I cut three chevrons from Crumb Cake and three from Petal Pink. Um, so let's start with, Let's start with the um, crumb cake one. Now, you could use um, this um, adhesive sheets. I'm just going to take and put a little glue, uh, uh, a little bit of glue. Here's my my other option is to put some glue onto my silicone mat and then just pick it up with a sponge dauber. And that way you can kind of spread it out a little bit more and adhere it. I don't have two, two silicone mats, that would have been good. So I'm just going to start with my crumb cake across the middle. And it is bigger, so I'm going to trim this. Um, so I just take my pick up a little bit of glue. And then, uh, come on. So we're just gonna try and alternate these colors. Like that. So this is kind of a really cool technique. If you're like me and you're, you're liquid glue challenged and you get too much, um, use your sponge dauber or a sponge and just uh, put some glue and then um, pick it up and then you can just spread it out a little bit better than than you could I, I get it all over the place i've told a story i'm not a i didn't always use in fact i didn't use liquid glue until fairly recently um, i always use uh used the stamp and seal so it's only been in the last few years that i've kind of switched over to the liquid glue, glue and I do love it, but I do, I hate getting glue on my fingers. And you'll hear me say that, oh, I got glue on my fingers. So, all right, there we go. Isn't that a pretty egg with just those chevrons? Okay, so let's get the glue out of the way. And so then you can take your paper snips yeah, um, you could get the tip, the precision tips um, for your glue too. That works as well. Um, I just never seem to think of that. And I have some little tiny glue bottles that I did buy um, for my classes because I do find that, that new stampers use a lot of glue because they have a hard time controlling the amount, the same as I do. <laughs> Uh, and so I do have some of those little tiny glue bottles. But isn't that a, a fun Easter egg? Tweezers, yeah, tweezers work as well. Okay, so I'm really going to just make the egg the star of the show here. I'm going to use dimensionals. Like I said, I might actually stamp the, the little bunny. Let's see. Let's see when we get this added. Um, I have some twine that I'm going to add. So let's do that first. This is just linen thread. It's not it's twine, but it's linen thread. So I'm just going to wrap it really loosely around my the palm of my hand a few times, four or five times. And then pinch the pinch the middle together. See, that came apart. So just I want it to be quite big because my egg is quite big. So just, 
there we go. So pinch that. And so we will just kind of put that in the middle. Just use a little bit of, of uh, stamp and seal if I can get it going. Oh, of course, I can't get it going. All of my supplies had a little holiday while I was gone, so we're having a we're all having a hard time getting back into the the swing of things. Definitely is having a bit of a a problem getting going here. Let's oh there we go. Okay, there we go. So there's goodness. I got some real sticky mess going on. There we go. Just a little bit of stamp and seal just to hold that in place. Hey Simone, welcome. All sorts of places today. Okay, so let's try and just put that like that. So we've got a little bit of the, the twine. You know what? I thought I was going to do the, the Easter egg, but I'm not. I am going to stamp the sentiment, and I think I'm going to stamp it in uh, Pretty Peacock. Not Pretty Peacock. Petal Pink. I tell ya, I'm still getting over my jet lag. So I'm going to use the thinking of you sentiment. I'm getting there. I'm sleeping okay, but I'm still, I don't know, <laughs> still it takes a while. All right, so I'm just going to stamp this thinking of you. And while I've got my, my ink out, um, I'm just going to stamp, I've got the little bunny, so I'm going to stamp it on the inside of the card. It's just so cute. So I'm going to stamp him in petal pink just down on the inside of my my card. So that'll be for the inside. Okay, let's take our paper snips. And as always, things haven't changed. I'm going to fussy cut. So we're just going to take and steer with the hand that's holding the paper, not with your paper, your the, the scissors themselves. So I'm just kind of following the the outline of the words. Like that. And then I've got some mini dimensionals here. That's probably the size better. I like to pop things up. Oopsie. Oh, well, good thing there's replay, Pam. You can always watch it on the replay. There we go. So I'm just going to put that up like that. And this can go on the inside while I'm gluing and like that. Okay, let's close my lid up so I don't have that problem. Uh, long jet lag. Yeah, you know, and it didn't help with uh, flights canceled because I told you, I think yesterday that I ended up um, staying in Calgary overnight because my flight was canceled. And so that just kind of started it out. I didn't get the sleep I wanted to. And yeah, it's just taking just a little bit extra time, but that's okay. All right, so these are the, the Petal Pink and Pretty Peacock Foil Gems. Um, I love these. I used them on the card yesterday. Um, so I'm just gonna use these. I'm so excited. These carried over into the new catalog, the new annual catalog, so that's cool. Um, so there we go. So there is Easter card, um, but thinking of you, and I just love the the detail the, on the stitching on this. Uh, you see all the stitching on those little chevrons. Anyway, pretty simple card, just a little bit of gluing um, and a little bit of embossing, and then the little Easter bunny on the inside. So there we go. I have an Easter card now <laughs> that I can give away. All right, getting back into the swing of things. Um, with my lives. So this week, um, 
normally I'm live Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, and so Tuesdays, I'm going to be moving my live to 4.30 Pacific. So a little later than I have been doing it at 2 Pacific. So 4.30 Pacific. And the reason for that is that I'm uh, starting going to um, a card making uh, day um, at a place I go and quilt. We're starting something new. And so I don't get home in time to do the two o'clock. Um, so Tuesdays, my sketch challenge will now be at 4.30 Pacific. Wednesday is my technique at two o'clock Pacific. And Thursdays um, will normally be at two o'clock Pacific. I think I might have to change it um, this week because I have to take our car in to be serviced. Something's always happening. Um, but I will post the time because I'm just not sure what I will be doing. This Thursday, uh, every, the last Thursday of each month, I share the, the cards that are part of my thank you, make and take. You get three cards. Um, with an order of $50. And if you put an order of $75 or more in during the month, um, I send you the uh, package of embellishments as well. So this coming Thursday, I'll be sharing the, the projects that you will be getting um, as uh, for orders in April. Uh, so yeah, so that's Thursday. So I'm kind of getting back into the normal swing of things uh, with my regular lives. All right, and tomorrow, for those of you that join me typically for my free class on Monday nights, every second Monday night at seven o'clock, we will be doing the class um, tomorrow night. I will be posting the supplies that you will need for the card um, tomorrow um, morning. I'll get them posted as early as I can. If I can do it today, I will get them done, but it for sure will be posted tomorrow. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. Hope you have a great day. Happy stamping. Bye.